Good evening, everyone. Can you listen to me? Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Yes. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Well, thank you for attending the classes today. So we're going to get started. Um, well, I have a question for you. Uh, are you working in the platform with the exercises, with the feedback, and all the things that we have to do in the platform? Is everything okay with the platform, everybody? No problems with the platform? It's okay. No problem. problem. It's okay. Okay, very well. Let's continue today. Uh, if you remember yesterday, we were making, a, we were working with a new topic. The new topic is um, be going to, okay? The topic is be going to. Yes. And uh, well, uh, we're going to make a review today of be going to. And let me share with you the screen in this moment. Okay, here we are. Okay, uh, I have a question. Can you see the screen in this moment? Can you see the things that I am projecting in the screen? Yes. Yes. Okay, that's good. So this is going to be the uh, review of be going to. If you remember yesterday we were practicing, okay, when we, we talk about plans for the future, okay, when we talk about a, a, some intentions that we have for the future, we use be going to, okay? And the time expressions that we can use with be going to is, for example, tomorrow, okay, next week, Okay, next year, okay, next week, next month. Next month, yes. And remember that we use the verb to be. That's important. Most of the time we use it with a contraction. For example, I am going to, or I'm going to. If we are using is, okay, in third person, she is or he is, or the specific name of the person. For example, Richard is going to buy a new car. Okay, things like this. Okay, now I want you to please tell me your plans for next weekend. Two plans that you have for next weekend. For example, in my case, in my case, I am going to paint my house next weekend, and I am going to uh, I am going to cook next weekend. Okay, what about you? What are your plans for next week? Tell me two plans that you have. We're going to start with uh, Stephanie. Yes. Okay, my Stephanie. plan for okay, my plan for next weekend is I am going to go to celebrate the bird the my nephew's birthday, okay. and I am going to go to the supermarket with my mother. Okay, excellent. Thank you for your participation, Stephanie. And what about Floor? Floor, can you please tell me two or three plans that you have for next weekend, please? Okay, teacher. Um, for the next weekend, I am going to go to the restaurant with my classmate or my family. Okay. I am going to go to the supermarket too. And I am going to visit my grandmother. Okay, we're going to visit your grandmother too. Okay, thank you, Flora. Thank you very much. Okay, now let's continue with Harold. Harold, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, yes, teacher. Um, Tell me. Uh, the next weekend, I'm going to I'm going to teach to new students, okay. and also I'm going to. Uh, organize my my room right. and I'm going to uh, I'm going to go uh, to the meeting all right thank in you in my work okay okay how about meeting in your work thank you thank you very much okay now let's continue with Edith 
is tell us two or three plans that you have for next weekend, please. Okay, for the next weekend, I am going to um, laundry. You're going to do the laundry, okay. Yes, I, I am going to uh, the park, play for my children. Okay, you're going to spend some time with your children, that's important. And I am, I am going to visit your family. Okay, this is the time too. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Now let's continue with uh, uh, Jose. Jose, what are two or three plans that you have for next week? Good evening. Good evening. Uh, next week, I am going to work and okay. study hard for exam. Okay, you're going to work and study for the exam. Only that. Okay, thank mm -hmm. you, Jose. Yes. Thank you very much. Now let's continue with Crisia. Crisia, what are your plans for, for next weekend? I'm going to clean my house. Okay. And I'm going to go to the beach. And you're going to go to the beach. Excellent. Okay, thank you. So you have to be careful. If you go out, you have to <laughs> take precautions, right? Okay, now let's continue okay. with, uh, let's see. Uh, Roberto, what are the two or three plans that you have for next week? Hi, teacher, good evening. Good evening. Um, I am going to visit my brother okay. and, I go, and I am going to dance with friends. Okay, you're going to spend some time with friends too. Okay, that's important. Very good. Now let's see Ronald. Ronald, describe two or three plans for next weekend, please. Hello, teacher. Hello. Um, maybe I'm going to play soccer with my friends. Okay. Um, and I'm going to study. And you're going to study too. Okay, yeah. thank you. Thank you very much. Now let's continue with um, Xiomara. So, ma'am, tell us two or three plans that we have for next week. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Um, the next weekend, I'm going to the church. Okay. And in the night, I'm going to the restaurant. Okay. Well, so, we're going to go to the church and go to our restaurant. Thank you. And let's see, Suleyma, two or three plans for next weekend, please. Mm -hmm. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Teacher. I'm going to uh, watch TV mm -hmm. and visit my family. All right. Okay. Watch TV and visit the family. Very good. Okay. Let's see. I thought that I saw a new student here. Let me see, let me see. Okay, I it was a student, Carmina, I think. Well, she probably abandoned the, the class. Okay, anyway, so that's the way we talk. We use, we describe plans for the future. Okay, we use be going to. So we describe plans for the future. Okay, now let's pay attention to this. Observe, please. Okay, now let's continue with um, uh, with the following exercise. Okay, uh, here we have five ideas, five sentences. Okay, but as you can see, there is a problem in every sentence. There is a mistake. Okay, so observe this and tell me what the mistake is, and I'm going to correct the mistake. Okay, for example, let's see, Chrissy, can you tell me what the mistake is in the first one? Maggie going to work next Sunday. That's incorrect. What's the correct form, Chrissy? Uh, the correct is Maggie is going to work next Sunday. Excellent. Okay, Maggie is going to work next Sunday. So in this case, remember, we need the verb to be. 
If you say Maggie going to work, uh-uh, incorrect. We need the verb to be. Okay, in the number two, there is a problem too. There is a mistake here. Okay, let's see, Ronald, can you tell me please? Well, yeah. yeah uh -huh. What's the problem in this idea? What's the problem in this sentence? In the correct format, uh, Daniel and Richard are going to play sports. Excellent. Okay, Daniel and Richard, okay, are going to play sports. Remember, if it's plural, okay, we need a different form of the verb to be. Okay, if it's plural, we need a different form. All right, now observe the number three. Okay, Alice is going to drink a cup of coffee. Okay, so it looks like it's correct, but no. Okay, this idea is incorrect. Okay, let's see, for example, uh, Jose, can you tell me the problem in this sentence, please? Number three. Alice um, is um, going to drink a cup of coffee. Uh, drink? Drink. Okay, what's the problem with drink? Uh -huh. Alice is going to drink a cup. Excellent. Very good. So in this case, remember, in this case, we have the verb in the original form. Okay, so it could be I, you, he, she, you, we, you, they, all the time. Okay, the verb is in the original form. So you have to be very careful with that. Alice is going to drink a cup of coffee. Now, in the number four, observe this. My father is going, is going to play poker with me. It looks like it's correct. No. Okay, so Stephanie, what's the problem in this idea? What's the problem in this sentence? Uh, I miss two. Is my father is going to play poker with me? Excellent. So we need two. We need the preposition. Yes. Remember? Not only the verb, we have two, this. My father is going to play poker with, with me. Excellent, very good. Now the last one is very simple to identify the mistake. Let's see, and uh, Mary, Mary, what's the problem in the, in the last sentence? I'm going to work in a restaurant next week. What seems to be the problem here? Okay, Mary, can you hear me? Yes, yes. Okay, what's the problem in the last idea, in the last sentence? Observe, please. Pues no logro entender. Hay going to, tengo que leer o yeah. decir qué es lo que se hace. No, in this idea, in this sentence, leer. There is a mistake. It's incorrect. I'm going, I'm going to work in a restaurant next week. Yes. week. Excellent. So in this case, we need the verb to be. Okay. We, we I need, am. Yes. That's um, the correct form. Okay. We need the verb to be. Remember. Remember that. We need the verb to be. So if you don't include the verb to be, that's incorrect. Okay. So it's recommendable. We have the verb to be before going to remember we need the verb to be okay very well now let's see uh, let's suppose that you are going to visit london let's use our imagination here. okay i want you to please choose two activities okay, that you are you plan to do in london Okay, visit the British Museum, take a boat, okay, go to the Tropical Center, visit the Science Museum, look around Buckingham Palace. Okay, choose two activities. Okay, and tell me what are the, the, your plans for London? I need a volunteer, please. Volunteer, you can choose two Imagine. Activities. Okay, Mary. Imagine you are going on a no, school. No. In no. this case, tell me okay, your plans. There are five plans, and choose only two of them. Um, visit. Yeah, but you need uh, to use going to. I am going to. I am. I going to. 
No sé cómo se llama. Okay. I am going to. Es museum. 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 Excellent. Museum. I am going to visit the science museum. I am going to visit the science museum. Excellent. Okay. What are it's science. Science. Science museum. Science museum. Excellent. That's okay. a pronunciation. Science museum. Okay. What are plan? Let's see. Let's choose a different classmate. Let's see. Uh, Beatriz, choose yes, one activity, you. please. What is your plan in London? Mm. I'm going to look around Brookingham Palace. I am going to look around Brookingham Palace. Okay, excellent. Thank you, Beatriz. Okay, let's see. Flor, what is your plan in London? Okay, Flor, can you hear me? Flor, well, I think that she has some issues. Maybe she can tell me later. Let's see. Roberto, what is your plan in London? I go. I am going to the Trocadero Center. I am going to go to the Tro Trocadero Center. Trocadero Center. Yeah. Trocadero Center. Okay, very well. One more student. Let's see the last one. Let's see. Xiomara, what is your plan in London? Okay, Xiomara, can you hear me? Well, she has have some issues too with her audio. Let's see a different classmate. Harold, what is your plan in London? I am going to visit the British Museum. Okay, I am going to visit the British Museum. Okay, guys. Now we are going to make a review of the questions. Okay. Look at the questions that we have here. Everybody, observe, please. Okay. First, let's practice the pronunciation. I want you to please, I am going to give you two numbers. Okay, and then according to the number, this is the way that you are going to read. Okay. For example, let's see, and, uh, uh, Beatriz. Read number two and number five, please. Let's practice the pronunciation. What? Number two and number five. Read, okay. please. Where are you going to travel in December? Okay, number five. What are you going to this weekend? What are you going to do this weekend? Okay, uh. excellent. Thank you, Beatrice. And now let's see, Laura. Flor, can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Okay, number one and number six. Read it, please. Okay. What are you going to watch on TV tonight? Okay. What are when are when? you going to when are you going to get married? When are you going to get married? Remember, guys, the intonation is different in the questions. Okay, so what are you going to watch on TV tonight? Okay, the number two, the intonation is different at the end of the question. Okay, where are you going to travel in December? Which TV series are you going to watch on TV? Are you going to watch on the weekend? So in this case, remember, it's important the intonation because it's a question. In a sentence, it's different, right? For example, I am going to watch TV series, okay, on the weekend. But when you ask a question, okay, the intonation is different, right? So number four, for example, what are you going to buy tomorrow? Okay, and number six, when are you going to get married? So remember the intonation is different. Okay, now let's continue with uh, uh, Harold. Number two, uh, 
Okay, number five, please. Where are you going to travel in December? Excellent. Number what five. are you going to buy tomorrow? What are you going to buy tomorrow? Thank you. Thank you very much. Now let's see. Let's continue with um, it is. It is number five and six, please. Five and six. Yes. What are you going to do this weekend? Okay. And when are you going to get married? Okay, when are you going to get married? Thank you. Okay, very well. Now let's continue with um, Jose. Jose, number two and three, please. Well, well, number... number two and number three, please. Where are you going to travel in December? Where are you going to travel in December? Which TV series are you going to watch on the weekend? Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, now let's see one more. And uh, Mary. Mary, let's practice the pronunciation, please. Number two and number six. Where are you going to travel in December? Okay. Number six. When, when are you going to get married? When are you going to get married? Thank you, Mary. Thank you very much. Let's see, uh, Roberto. Number one and number four, please. Okay. What are you going to watch on TV tonight? Okay, number four. What are you going to buy tomorrow? What are you going to buy tomorrow? Remember that the intonation is different. In a question, the intonation is different, right? Now, Ronan, Ronan, your turn. Number four and number six, please. What are you going to buy tomorrow? Okay. Uh, number six, right? Yeah. Uh, when are you going to get married? Excellent. Thank you. Thank you very much. And Samara. Number one, number two, please. What are you going to watch on TV tonight? Okay. Um, number two, number two is your. Uh, okay. Number two. Where are you going to travel in December? Where are you going to travel in December? Thank you. Thank you so much. Now let's see Suleyma. Number five, number six. The last two questions. Practice the pronunciation. What are you going to buy tomorrow? What are you going to do this week? Okay. What are you going to do this week? Okay. It's acceptable. No problem. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Later. Okay. Now, everybody, we have six questions here. Everybody. And uh, in this moment, okay, in this moment, Okay, you are going to practice these questions, okay? Uh, let's pay attention to, let's see. And uh, let's pay attention to, uh, Jose. Jose, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Okay, Jose. Choose any question and ask the question to the classmates that we have here. You can choose Stephanie, Beatriz, Flora, Iris, Christian, Mary, Roberto, etc. If you choose the classmate, choose the question and choose a, a classmate, please. Okay, help me. Okay, choose the, choose the classmate first. Select the classmate. Uh, what are you going to buy no, tomorrow? No, no, choose. Select the, the classmate first. You can select, for example, Tricia, Stephanie. Ah, uh, excuse me. Yeah. Uh, Flor. Flor. Okay, Flor. Yes. Uh, Jose? Yes, ask teacher. Jose? Jose is okay. going to ask you the question. Okay, okay, go ahead. What are you going to buy tomorrow? I am going to buy a blouse. A blouse, okay, thank you. 
Okay, now, Flor, you ask the question now. Okay. What are you going to watch on TV tonight, Xiomara? Okay, repeat the question for Xiomara, please. What are you going to uh, watch on TV tonight? I'm going to watch on TV the movie. I'm going to watch a movie. I'm going to watch a movie, a movie. on TV tonight. Yes. On okay, Xiomara, it's your turn, Xiomara. A question, please. Now you, okay. you change the roles here. What are you going to do this weekend, Jose Figueroa? Uh, we are going to do uh, next week travel up to Sunday. Ah, up to Sunday. Okay, we're going to have a good time in up to Sunday. Okay, thank you. Now, Jose, repeat. Choose a different question and a different classmate, please. Um, where are you going to get married? Uh, Maria Maya? Uh -huh. Mary? Ask her, please. Perdón, ¿cuál fue la pregunta? The question, repeat the question, please. <laughs> when are you going to get married? When are you going to get married? Yes. Uh -huh. well. Se refiere si Si estoy casada, ¿verdad? No, when. No. When do you plan? When, when? cuando. Yeah. Ah, nunca. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so never. Never, never. 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 I am never going to get I am married. going. I, I going. I am going. Go ah, I am never. I am never, uh huh. I am never. Never, never. <laughs> I am never going to get married. Okay, so in that case, we include never before. Eh, before going to, I am never going to get married. Okay, Mary, a okay. different question in a different classroom, please. Um, what are you going to buy tomorrow, um, Stephanie Pozzuolo? Stephanie, sorry. Mm -hmm. Okay, Stephanie. Okay. okay, I am going to buy groceries for my house. Okay, very well. Now, Stephanie, a different classroom, a different question, please. Okay, give me one second. And uh, what are you going to travel in December, Roberto? Roberto, where are you going to travel yes. in December? Ahorita. Where? Uh, I am going to travel in Miami, Florida. <laughs> okay, you're going to travel to Miami, Florida. Excellent. Okay, Roberto, a different classmate, a different okay. question, please. Come on. Um, where are you going to do this weekend, Stephanie? <laughs> okay. Yeah, this weekend, I am going to celebrate nephew's birthday. Nephew's birthday. Okay, Stephanie, a different yeah. classmate, different question, please. Okay. When are you... Uh, when are you going to get married? Iris. Iris. Iris Herrera. When are you going to get married, Iris? When are you going to get married? Yes, I am going to marry in June. In June? Okay, next year. Very good. Excellent. Uh, Iris, a different classmate and a different question, please. Choose a different hey, classmate. Um, mm -mm. Harold. Okay. Harold. Um, which TV series are you going to watch on the weekend? Which TV series are you going to watch on the weekend? Well, I am going to watch a series series called Malcolm in the Middle. Mike, Malcolm in the Middle, yeah, Malcolm that's a very good series. 
Yes. Oh, very interesting. Okay, the last question, please. Oh, and the last question. Uh, um, Flor Matute? Flor, go ahead. Please. Flor question Matute? Uh, where are you going? What? What are you going to buy tomorrow? I am going to buy pizza for the dinner. Okay, I'm going okay. to buy pizza for dinner. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Flor. Now let's continue with, uh, with uh, something different here. Okay, let me see. Okay, guys, in this case, you are going to dictate the question for me. Okay, that's what we're going to do here. We have six questions, but we only have the words. So you have to put it in order okay, using going to. All right, let's start with Ronald. Ronald, can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Okay, Ronald. What can be the question here? Where are we tonight? Where are we going to eat tonight? Excellent. Okay, so the question is like this. Where are we going to eat tonight? Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, Rona, do me a favor. Let's select a different classmate. Please. Mm, different classmate okay. now. Let me see. It is Herrera. It is. It is Herrera. Number two is for you. Okay, we only have these words. What do you do tomorrow? Seria, what, what is? What is? Uh -huh. Continue, continue. Yeah. Uh, what do you do tomorrow? He going to do tomorrow. Excellent. What is he going to do? Tomorrow. To do tomorrow. Excellent. Yes. What is he going to do tomorrow? Thank you. Okay, choose a different classmate, please. A different participant. Um Beatrice. Beatrice. Okay, we have number three, Beatrice. What is the dictate the question for me, please? What? Uh -huh. Am I excellent? So in this case, the verb to be is different. This is I. What going I? to going to uh -huh. eat for lunch? Eat for lunch. Excellent. What am I going to eat for lunch? Very good. Thank you. Okay. Uh, choose a different classmate, please. A different classmate. Um... Stephanie, 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 number four, yes. dictate, dictate the question for me. Um, okay, who it is going to carry the shopping for me? All right, who is going to carry the shopping? Carry the shopping for me. For me. Who's going to carry the shopping for me? Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, Stephanie, different uh, classmate, please. I have a question. Yes. Eh, que no debería llevar el it. It. Uh, uh -huh. see, no. Let me explain. In this case, because we are okay. talking about who, I want to know the subject. In the number three, the subject is I. So it is number two, the subject is he. Yeah. In the number one, the subject is we. we. But in this case, oh. I want to know the subject. Okay. I want to know uh. who is doing the action. Okay, I, I don't have subject. I don't yes. have subject. Exactly. Ah, okay. So okay. That's, that's what I want to know. I want to know the subject. So in this case, you see in the middle, we have is and going so there is no subject because it that's is, the thing i want to know okay, it's, so only, it's only 
is only with who. Exactly. Yeah. Who is going oh. to care of the shopping channels? For example, oh, okay. for example, how do you say in English? Quien me va a ayudar? Ah. Quien me va a ayudar? How do you say that in English? Who? Who is helping me? Who is going to? Is going. Who is to going help to help me? Excellent. Okay. So in that case, I want to know. I want to know the subject, right? I want to know the subject. So in this case, I just say, ah. who is going to? Who is going to help okay. me? Okay. Or for example, okay. how do you say in English, ¿Quién va a comprar eh, comida? Who is going who to is buy? going to uh, buy food? food. Excellent. Uh -huh. So in that case. Okay, thank you. Okay, we have, it's like an exception, right? So you have to be, when you want to know the subject. Okay. Uh, Stephanie, Stephanie, one more student, please. A different classmate. Mary. Mary. Okay, Mary, yes. it's your turn for number five, please. What do you think? What is what, what is time? going to to what is you? Uh, no, the first two words to is what time? Our I time give you a clue. For me. Oops, wait a second. Wait a minute. <laughs> give me a second. Okay, here we are. Wait a minute, there's a problem here. Okay, give me a second. I'm going to find, find a solution here. Okay, here we are now. Sorry for the interruption. Okay, let's share the screen again. Here we are. Okay, so let's continue. Who was the participant in number five? Who was the participant? I think it was... Uh, who was the participant for number five? Do you remember? Mary. Mary. Okay, go ahead. So the first two words is what time? Uh -huh. What's the next word? Yes. Are, so are, 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 are you? Are you? Are uh, you? Continue. Oh, my are you going to? Uh, going to. Okay, so in this case, this is a verb phone me, telephone. What time are you going to phone me? Okay, and the last one, Mary, the last participant, please. Choose the last participant. Roberto. Roberto, okay, it's your turn, Roberto, please. Okay. Okay, tell me. Where are you go where are you going to give a present? Where are you me. going to give me a present? Pressing. Okay. Very well. When are you going to give me a present? All right. Very well. So in this case, we construct questions. Okay. We are constructing the questions. Remember, these are WH questions. And now we are going to make a review of the the W 
we're gonna make a review of the yes, no question. You remember that last night when we talked about the yes, no questions? The yes, no questions is like this. For example, I ask, are you going yeah. to are you going to study English tomorrow? Yes, I am. And then you tell me, yes, I am. Okay. Yeah. Are you are you going to travel to USA no. next weekend? You no, say yeah. no, I am not. Okay. Now everybody, so ask a question for me, please. Are you going to watch TV tonight? Are you going to uh, eat dinner after the class? Any question in the chat? Okay, let's open the chat please and ask question there. Okay, here we are. Okay, oh, Carmina had a problem. So I think that she has a technical problem. Maybe she can find a solution later. Okay, guys, please ask a question. For example, I ask you, are you going to work tomorrow? Okay. And then share the question. Okay, let's do it, please. In this moment, all of you ask a question for me. Are you going to cook the lunch? Okay, this is for Stephanie. Okay. And, then, and then the other participants. Include the question, please. The question is for me. Are you going to? Are you going to? Are you going to? No, no, Roberto, the question. The question. Are you going to? Okay, write, write the question in the chat. Include the question in the chat. Okay, this is from Harold. Are you going to visit your family next weekend? Excellent. Continue, please, everybody. One question, only one. Are you going to? Okay. Are you going to go to the gym? Okay, excellent. Well, let me see. We have Jose, Tricia, Iris, Roberto, Flores, Yomara, Harold, eh, Ronald, Stephanie. Okay, one more minute, please. Include the question. Remember, this is a different question. Okay, in this case, we have just no question. Okay. With a few minutes ago, we were working with the WH question. What are you going to do? Where are you going to travel? Okay, what time are you going to get up? So these are WH questions. But now we are with just no questions. Okay, now observe, please. Let's pay attention to your questions. Huh? There's a new message. This is from Rona. Are you going to read a book? Are you going to read a book? Excellent. Okay. Observe, please. This is from Stephanie. Ah, in this case, Stephanie, the time expression. Yes, in past. It's before the future. Yes. 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 To cook I. Uh -huh. Tomorrow. Maybe you can include. Okay, you can include it at, at the end. You can repeat the question. No problem. Okay, and then we have. Uh, let me see. Ronald, are you going to go to the park? Excellent. That's 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 correct. Okay, Harold, are you going to visit your family next weekend? Okay, so Mana, are you going to the gym? Yeah, it's okay. Okay, Flor, are you going to do exercise after the class? It's okay. Are you going to the park on Saturday? Good. It is. Are you going to? Ah, in this case, it is. We need the verb go. Go swimming. Are you going to go swim or just the bear in the original form? Are you going to swim? 
tomorrow in the morning? Are you going to swim tomorrow in the morning? Okay. And Patricia, are you going to wash the dishes? That's okay. Jose, are you going to run on the road? Ronald, are you going to read a book? Stephanie, are you going to cook lunch tomorrow? And then we have Beatrice. Are you going to style wooden stone? Mm, but Beatrice, we need to include the verb here. Ah, okay, you, it was an accident. Okay, no problem. So in this case, are you going to? And then the verb in the beginning. Okay, now everybody, uh, let's see. Let's pay attention to an important exception here with the verb go. I want you to show you this with the verb go. Observe this. In this case, with the verb go, you can, we can use the two forms. Okay. This is just for with the verb go, sir, please. Be careful. We can use the two different forms. The two forms are acceptable. I am going to go to the park and I am going to the park. Okay. The two forms are possible. The same happens in questions. Are you going to the park? Are you going to go to the park? The two forms are possible. Okay, so pay attention to that. You have to be very careful. Are you going to the park and are you going to go to the park? So just, but just with the bird go. Okay, with the other birds, okay, it's different. Okay, and now ask me the question. Okay, try to remember. Okay, the same question that you put in the chat now. Ask me a question directly, please. Okay, we're going to start with uh, Suleyma. Suleyma, the same question. Ask me, please. Are you going to? Ay, no, es que no entiendo mucho inglés. Ah, okay, very well. So in this case, and uh, let's see. You have to include the same question that you include in the chat. Did you include a question in the chat, Selena? Um, you can see. No, not yet. Okay, but I help you, Selena. Selena, the question, please. Are you going to? Um, uh -huh. Are you going to play the soccer? Are you going to play soccer tomorrow? Uh, tomorrow. Okay, mm -hmm. excellent. Now repeat one more time, please. Are you going to play soccer tomorrow? Okay, excellent. Uh, no, I am not. Okay. Remember, it's just a, a short answer here. Okay, thank you, okay. Suleyma. Thank mm -hmm. you. Thank you very much. It's okay. Please. Now let's <laughs> see, Xiomara, your question, please. Ask me. The same question that you put in the chat. Um, are you going to the gym? Are you going to the gym? No, no, no I am not. <laughs> <laughs> I feel scared. I, feel that I can get the, the virus. Okay. okay. Well, now let's continue with uh, Ronald. The same question, Ronald, please. Ask me. Are you going to go to the park? Are you going to go to the park? Yes, I am. Okay. Thank you. Now let's see Roberto, the same question, please. Ask me. Are you going to the park on Saturday? Are you going to the park on Saturday? Uh, no, I am not. Okay. Okay, Mary? Mary, your question, please. The same question that we include in the chat. Um, um, teacher, are you going to the shower? <laughs> the shower? Uh -huh. <laughs> 
Uh, yes, yes, I am. Okay, I'm going to take a shower. I always now, take a shower before I go to bed because I'm very. De vez en cuando, solo los sábados como el shower. <laughs> no, no, every day. Okay, every, every day. day. <laughs> yeah, two times before I go to bed too. Okay, thank you. Now, let's see. Let's continue with uh, Alicia. The same question, please. Are you going to wash the dishes tomorrow? Uh, yes, I am. Okay. Cook and wash the dishes. The two, the two things. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Now let's continue with uh, Jose. Uh, yes, Arita. Um, are you going to room on the road next week? Yes, I am. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Jose. Right. Now let's continue with, uh, let's see. Iris, your question, please. Ask me. Okay. Um, the correct format of my question, the for example, question. are you going to go to swimming tomorrow? Are you going to go swimming tomorrow? No, I am not. No. I am not. Okay, this is the answer. No, I am not. Okay, no, thank you. you. Now let's continue with Harold. <laughs> Are you going to pay your bills tomorrow? Yes, I am. I am going to pay bills in the bank. Okay. Thank you. That's okay. Now let's, con let's continue with uh, Laura. Are you going to do exercise after class? Uh, no, I am not. I am going to sleep after class. Okay. Let's see, Beatrice. It's your turn now. Are you going to cook the lunch for tomorrow? Are you going to cook lunch for tomorrow? No, I'm not. Okay, uh, let's see, Stephanie. Are you going to are you going to cook the lunch for tomorrow? Are you going to cook lunch for tomorrow? No, no, I am not. Okay. Very well, let's see. All of you participate already. So, yes, I think that all of you did. Okay, so tonight, as you could see, we practice. Okay, there are two forms of questions. We have the, the WH questions, and we have the yes no questions. Remember, okay, when we have the the yes no questions, okay, uh, like this. In third person, we change the verb to be, is. For example, is your mother going to cook tomorrow? Okay, is your sister going to study after this class? So in this case, we change when it's in the third person. And the answer, okay, in this case, the answer is, yes, he is. No, he isn't. Yes, she is. No, she isn't. Okay, very well. So in this case, we are uh, making a review of the going to. We express plans for, for the future. Okay, and the last exercise, everybody. What are you going to do after this class? Okay, tell me, but in this case, try to speak very fast using the contraction. I'm going to, I'm going to try to say it very fast. I'm going to sleep, I'm going to watch TV, I am going to wash the dishes, I'm going to uh, play video games, etc. So you have to tell me very fast. Okay, this is the last exercise. Okay, but please, what are you going to do after this class? Mm, I'm going to watch my Cell phone. Okay. Well, we're going to uh, see see my cell phone. Okay. See. Okay. Very well. Thank you. Now let's continue with uh, Laura. What are you going to do after this class? I am going to sleep after class. <laughs> I'm going to sleep after class. Me too. Okay. Let's see, Harold. I'm going to brush my teeth. After, after this class. class, after this class, thank you. After it is. 
What are you going to do after this class? I am going to eat my dinner. Okay, I'm going to eat dinner after this class. Thank you, Liz. Let's see. And now we have uh, Jose, I think. Jose, what are you going to do after this class? Uh, I am going to watch TV. I'm going to watch TV after this class. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Jose. Now let's see, Chrisia, what are you going to do after this class? I'm going to read a document. After this class. So you're going to study after this class? Yes. Okay. Yes, of course. For you. Okay, Mary, what are you going to do after this class? I'm going to... Yeah. When we finish this class, what is your plan? Sleep, eat dinner, watch the dishes, watch the dinner. I'm What's going to. Mm -hmm. Study. Study. After this class. Study. Okay. I am, to... uh -huh. I am going to study after this class. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much, Mary. Now, Roberto. Hello. What are you Hello. going to do after this class? I am going to sleep. <laughs> okay, you're going to sleep after this class. Rona, what are you going to do after this class? I'm going to watch a series. Okay, you're going to watch series after this class. Thank you. Okay, Sumara, what are you going to do after this class? I am going to study. Okay, you are going to continue studying for this class. Yes. Sulema, what are you going to do after this class? Um, I am going to watch TV. After this class. Okay. Thank you, Sulema. Okay, everyone. For tomorrow, I want you to please pay attention to WhatsApp. All of you are in our WhatsApp group? Yes, all of you are included in the WhatsApp group? Okay, so okay. tomorrow in the morning, I am going to give you extra exercises okay. in the WhatsApp group. I'm going to give you extra exercises using be going to in the first topic. Do you remember the first topic? The ordinal numbers, okay, in the months. So we are, I'm going to give you some links from internet and we're going to, for example, play games using uh, big going to, and we're going to include other, other exercises too. Okay, so, and at the same time, remember, you have to work in the platform. You need to complete the exercises in the platform, all of them. Okay, so, okay. and I'm going to give you feedback and we're going to have extra exercises tomorrow, okay? So that we can be ready for the next week's uh, topics. Okay, before we finish, do you have any questions? No, guys, no question? No question. No question, very good. Okay, thank you so much for your attention and participation. And we continue tomorrow at 8 p.m. So thank you. And good thank day. you. Goodbye. Thank you. Okay. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night.